This week's Torah portion, Tezria, mentions various laws of purity, all seemingly different from each other, but upon closer inspection, we realize that they have something in common. They all have to do with elevating ourselves and our connection to Hashem. Although there are many things that we can discuss in relation to what the Torah says about purity in our relationship with Hashem, since the holiday of Passover is right around the corner, we can draw a connection. While preparing for Passover, one of the main things we do is to clean the house to rid it of any chametz, any leavened products. But not only are we doing a physical cleaning, leavened bread is compared to the ego. So while we are doing a physical cleaning, we also have time to stop and think about how we can improve ourselves by getting rid of our spiritual comments, in other words, our ego. Oftentimes our ego can cause us to have conflicting thoughts. I'm not doing my best instead of the positive, how can I plan things to do better? Or the famous, I'm not doing enough instead of how can I organize things to do more? Did you notice that the negative statements begin with ego, with the word I, whereas the more positive statements begin with words that lead to action, how can I? When we work on our spiritual cleaning, we can have a positive effect on ourselves by purifying our thoughts and feelings about ourselves, which will lead us to take action instead of getting stuck on the treadmill of negativity. When we feel better about ourselves and let go of unnecessary anxiety that can be caused by negative self-talk, we're in a better position to strengthen ourselves and our relationship with Hashem. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and subscribing, and we'll see you again next week. Good Shabbos.